I'm one of the medical students who's been asked to perform an upper limb musculoskeletal examination on you, if that's okay. Yeah. So that just involved me having a look, having a feel, getting you to move around and also me performing a few special tests on your shoulders, your elbows, your wrists and your hands. In order to do this properly, it will require you to take off your shirt just so I can have a proper inspection and we can do some proper tests on your upper limbs. Does that sound okay with you? Yeah. Did you have any questions at all? No. Fantastic. Um, if you're happy to get started, I'll just get a few of your details. Sure. So what was your full name? John Smith. Yeah, and what was your age? 21. Great, we'll get started. Feel free to take off your shirt when you're ready. Yeah, so having a look at you in general, first of all, it seems like you've got a good posture, um, you're very symmetrical, there's no obvious deformities on either side, and you look quite comfortable, so not in any obvious pain. Um, just having a look at your shoulders specifically now. So I'll just get you to do a bit of a twirl. Great, so um, I didn't notice any obvious redness, rashes, or scars, or swellings. If you could just sit down for me so I can look from above. Yeah, and so can confirm, I don't notice any obvious abnormalities at this stage, which is really good. So now I'll move on to palpating your shoulders. First of all, um, do you have any pain in either shoulder at the moment? No, okay. So I'll start off with your right one. So I'm just gonna feel over the general area first. So noticing if there's any temperature difference compared to the other side, and they both feel like they're the same temperature and no pain, you mentioned. Okay, so lightly having a feel over. No pain? Yeah, so I'm not noticing, once again, any differences in muscle bulk um, and also um, there's no obvious swelling or effusion in the area and no tenderness as per the patient. Now I'm going to feel for specific landmarks, so just let me know if you're experiencing any pain or discomfort and I'll stop at any stage. So just stabilising you from the back, feeling from the centre along the bones, any pain at all? No, so along the clavicles, having a feel of the coracoid process, any pain at all? No, okay, and then all along the acromion, any discomfort at all? No, okay, I'll just get you to bend your elbow if that's okay. Um, and I'm just going to feel for the greater and lesser tubercles of the humerus, which is there. I'm just going to feel for the tendon underneath my thumb. And as I move your arm, I can feel it move underneath, which is good. Fantastic, thank you. So now I'm just going to move along the spine of the scapula. So any pain or discomfort? No. And then now down along the borders, any discomfort at all? No. Fantastic. Um, and the muscle bulk of the supraspinatus, as, long as, as well as the infraspinatus, and also of the deltoid, all seem to be normal. So no tenderness at all? Fantastic. That's good. Now I'll move on to the other side. So now moving on to a few movements, I'll get you to copy my movements first if that's okay. So first of all, with your palms facing your thighs, hands all the way up with your elbows straight, great, and then all the way down, so that's normal flexion, and then arms with your elbows straight all the way back as far as you can, yep, and then back down, so normal extension, arms up like a bird, straight elbows all the way up, now back down, great, that's essentially the painful arc as well, so normal abduction, no pain elicited, and arms, elbows, uh, straight, just cross like this, great, and back to the sides, so that's normal adduction, which is good. Arms like a robot for me, and keeping your elbows by your sides, just opening up like a book, and then, great, if you could, with one of your hands, place it behind your back like a waiter, and turn around, and if you could just reach your hand up to your neck, great, and then also with the other hand now, great, so that's normal internal rotation, and with the opening of the books, normal external rotation, fantastic, you can turn back around. So because all of your um, movements were fine actively, um, there's no need to do them passively, but for completeness sake, I will continue to do them passively. So um, just relax for now. So first of all, flexion, extension, and then whoop, I'm just gonna stabilize your scapula. So no rotation of the scapula yet, but now rotation of the scapula, which is normal with passive movements, which is good. Moving your arm across, that's quite normal. I'll get you to bend your arms. Great, so passive movements on this side are normal. I'll do that on the other side now as well. So now moving on to a few special tests. So first of all, some screening tests. 
If I could just get you to put your hand over your shoulder into your back like you're giving yourself a scratch, just turn around. Yeah, and then the other side as well. So this is the Ackley scratch test. Just a bit of a screen for shoulder movement. Seems good. Um, and turn back around. Now I'm going to do the scarf test. So I'm just going to stabilize your shoulder whilst I move your shoulder over to the other side. Hand over to the other side. That's pretty normal. No crepitus either. Yeah, and that's quite normal as well. So that's good. No obvious abnormalities at this stage. And then the last one, if I could just get you to turn around and put your hands against the wall. Yeah, so there's no winging of the scapula before you turn back around. So there's no palsy of the long thoracic nerve, which is good. Fantastic. Now I'm going to assess for shoulder impingement. So first of all, I'm going to do the Hawkins test. So just relax. I'm just going to put my hand here. If you feel any pain or discomfort here whilst I'm pulling down on your wrist, let me know. Any pain at all? No? Okay, I'll go on to the other side. Any pain at all? No, great. Now I'm going to do Mia's test. So if I can just get you to turn your hand inwards, like you're about to start doing backstroke, I'm going to place my hand on your shoulder and I'm just going to move your arm up for you. Let me know if you feel any pain or discomfort here. Any pain or discomfort at all? No, and I'll do it on the other side. So like you're about to do backstroke, um, and up. Any pain at all? No, and back down. Fantastic. So shoulder impingement tests of Hawkins and Mia's negative. Now we're going to isolate each one of your rotator cuff muscles. So first of all, the infraspinatus. If I could just get you to give two straight arms with thumbs up, bring it about halfway back and give me a thumbs down. Okay, so I'm just going to push down on your elbows. Just resist me. Any pain on your shoulders? No. Great. So that's a um, negative for the Job's or empty can test. Um, next, I'm going to do the infraspinatus. So arms up like a robot. I'm going to stabilize your elbow here. I'm going to push outwards. So resist me. Yeah, and then on the other side as well. So resist me. Fantastic. So infraspinatus seems intact and normal, which is good. Next, Terry's minor. So if you could just give me like a stop sign. Yeah, and I'm going to stabilize your shoulder and push um, behind your hand. So just resist me. Yeah, and then on the other side as well. Great, okay, so Terry's minor seems normal. And the last one, the lift-off test. If you can just stand to the side and put your hand behind your back like a waiter again. And if you could lift that off the, your back, great. And now I'm gonna put my hand and resist against me. Sure, and then on the other side as well. So back like a waiter, lift off, fantastic. Now push against me, great. Um, so subscapularis is also normal strength. So all of the rotator cuffs seem to be normal. So that concludes all of the assessments that I wanted to do on your upper limbs. Thank you for being so cooperative. I'll be sure to pass on all of my findings onto the team. Did you have any questions at all? No. Great. Thank you.